Oh yeah, we're talking about San Francisco Rush for 64. Very cool popular arcade game back in its time, and now it's here on the 64. I think the 64 was one of the first systems to ever get this cool arcade game home. Now it looks like your typical racing game at first, but there's something very cool about this one. Here we're, you know, racing in San Francisco, you know, cool state. And what makes this game so interesting is that there's a lot of hills, shortcuts, and jumps in this. Still can't steer, dude. <laughs> I'm on fire. It has cool rocky music. Graphics look kind of blurry and there's a lot of fucking fog in it. Well, it still doesn't look too bad. If you compare this to the arcade game, it doesn't look too different. <laughs> and here's the cool thing about this game, we're racing up here, and ah, wild jumps, I love it. And there's shortcuts everywhere in this game, we just have to find them. There's six traps in the game all together, and each one has their own secrets to them. There's secret keys you can find, you can do drifts, well you actually go in reverse, and that's how you sort of do your drift. And that's how you can regain your control. Because this game is pretty damn tough. The computer won't let up. So unless you know how to take corners well, you're going to be fucking screwed. But at least there are ways to you know, cheat the system, like use shortcuts and all that. And look at that, there's actually damage modeling on the cars. Whoa! <laughs> I would love to do something like that in real life. <laughs> of course, my uh, stupid little dodge wouldn't be able to handle that. Oh, <laughs> you went flying. Shit. <laughs> oh, did you burn up? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I gotta use the shortcut. Where'd you find it? It was down here, down there. Oh! <laughs> hey, third place. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I give this game a 75 out of 100. <laughs> what? <laughs> Get down, man. 75? 75. Uh, I like this game, man. It has cool jumps in it, a lot of shortcuts. I think they, the only difference that I can see from it is. They have a uh, two-player mode, which is good, but uh, there's no on, like, other traffic. But there would be other, like, a cruising USA game or something like that. Mm -hmm. There's no other, other cars on the road. So it's just, like, you and, like, four or five other cars. I think it's kind of boring. There's no challenge, really. Like, you're not, you're, like, in cruising USA, you're not just facing, like, the five other cars, but you're facing all their own kind of traffic as well. Mm -hmm. So I like cruising USA better, so for that, I give this game a uh, 54 out of Right. I think this game has a lot of depth to it, so I like it a bit better than Cruise in the USA. Cruise in the USA you can jump into a little bit faster, but it's as soon as you play for a bit, I don't know, it just wears thin after a while. Where this game has lots of layers, lots of different modes you can do, and in the circuit mode you can challenge 24 different tracks and it's uh, actually the six tracks and like mirrored reverse and all that so there's a lot of replay value in this one and they would improve with the air rush games too like 2049 and rush 2 rush america i'd rather watch rush hour <laughs> okay good game check it out but not for everybody but not number three okay all right rush just like that band rush mm. yep what's their song mm. subdivisions <laughs> All right. So, uh, 75 and 54. Yep. First we're going on Mexico to <laughs> see. All right. And I bet the audience is sick of hearing this music now. What's your name? <laughs>